Okay, I have up a blank document, and I have my show hide button, which is up in the paragraph section, turned on so that we can um, see when I hit enter or space or tab or whatever I do. I want to go back to last session just for a minute and to bring everybody up to date. I showed you an autocorrect feature, and I'm going to just review that for those who weren't here. If you go up to your office button up here in the upper left-hand corner, click it, go down to the bottom on the right where it says Word Options, click on Word Options, On the left-hand side of your screen, find Proofing. And again, remember that when you have a check mark in any of these boxes, it means it's turned on. What we want to look at is this autocorrect option over here on the right, upper right. If you click on autocorrect, it will take you into the autocorrect feature. What you're seeing in this area it says replace text when you type, and you'll see some symbols first. If we scroll down, we'll get into some alphabet characters. And if you see A-B-O-U-T-A, -A, that just means somebody forgot to hit the space bar, and it will automatically correct that. Anything in here, it will automatically correct. So when you type something and it automatically corrects it, it may be coming from here. If you want to add something to it, you can type in, say, ISU, and tap over to the width bar, and type Idaho State University. And then you have an Add button, so you can add that to this list, and it fits in right in the eyes and goes right to that place. We say OK, and we have to say OK again. Now we're back to our blank screen. So I'm going to type ISU, hit my space bar, and it replaces that with Idaho State University. Well, if I just wanted it to say ISU, this is the part I forgot to tell the last group or the last time we talked about this. You can click your undo button and it will go back. Or if you've continued typing and then you see that it's made a correction that you didn't want it to, you see this little blue bar comes up. And when you point to it, you get a little flashing. It's called a smart tag. It says autocorrect options. You click it and it will give you the option to change it back. Well, now that's uh, cool. ISU. I didn't know that. I always wondered what that little blue bar was for. And that's called the smart tag, and it'll give you whatever options for whatever feature you're working with. Hey, real quick, how many of you out there knew that that little smart tag existed? Nicole, did you know? Robbie, what about you? Julie says no. Nicole says no. So. We already learned something. We're not, in, not into it five minutes, and we're all learning. OK. Just as an example, I'm going to type T-E-H, hit my space bar, see how it corrected that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to type A-D-N, space bar, and it corrects that. So there's a lot of words that it will correct automatically, and a few of them that you don't want to have it do. And so you can use either the undo button if you catch it right away, or you can use the smart tag. Excellent. So it comes up right under it, and you can change it back to what, whatever it was. 